Good morning all and God bless you this morning. Happy New Week to you everyone listening to me in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I have a brief revelation that God showed to me uh, concerning her scarf. It is not a new message. It is a message I have repeatedly shared on this channel. When you keep on rebelling against God, against God's words, against God instructions, you are seen as a witch. You are seen as someone committing iniquity. Not that you've not been hearing this message. You've seen it written in the Bible, in the book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse number 6 to 13, that it is a shame for a woman to pray or prophesy with her hair uncovered. People have been hearing this, but you allow the deception of the gullible men of God that they open their ministry just for the sake of their stomach and not for your salvation and not for your internal life to deceive you. By telling you, it doesn't matter. Come the way you are. The Lord is looking for the heart. The Bible also reminds us in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 18 and 19, that can a good tree produce a bad fruit, or a bad fruit produce a good tree? It is out of the abundance of the heart, according to Matthew 12, verse number 34, the mouth to speak. When you say God is looking at the heart, the body doesn't matter. It is just like you offering yourself to God as a living sacrifice. Your inside is okay, but your body is dirty. Or like me, giving you food. Maybe when you visit me, I want to serve you something to eat. And I went and picked up a plate that is dirty. You looking at the body of this plate, it detests you. You can't even eat that food. That is how we are before the face of God. When we come before his presence, we need to be only from inside 100% and outside 100%. That is what God is looking for. And God requires from each and every one of us who says we are heavenly candidate, we are children of God, we are serving him in truth and in spirit to present our whole body according to Romans 12 verse 1 and 2 as a living sacrifice acceptable unto him. God has been sending words, even the whites, they are taking messages to the world that God wants that we should tie our hair. I saw a video the other day, a white woman tied her hair very neatly and she was praying to God. You think they don't know? Listen, listen, before I share this message, I want you to open your Bible right now with me to the book of Exodus chapter 23 verse number 2. Exodus chapter 23 verse number 2. Let's see what the Bible is saying there. What did it say? Do not follow multitude of people to commit evil. God can destroy the whole earth in just a twinkling of an eye and recreate another. So, you don't tell me it's not possible God will push all the souls he has created here on earth to, to have fire. It pains me because when I see people being stubborn over a thing they have been hearing over and over, I have seen hell fire, I have seen heaven. And I've made up my mind to go to the path of internal life with God, which is heaven. Because I want to see my Jesus someday. The revelation God showed to me is very simple. I was in my revelation, in my dream, that I saw myself inside a church. And in this church, I look around, it was a holiness church. That dresses the way you're seeing me with your head tied covered, looking neatly with no makeup, with no earrings. They were all seated attentively, listening to the word of God. Then suddenly, three ladies entered into the church. And these ladies, they came to worship God. But their hair were not covered. Three of them didn't cover their hair. But with this appearance, I noticed that a saint of God seated in that church looked at them immediately and got irritated. She acted as if something was smelling in the church. She stood up at once from her seat while looking at them and she had to walk out of the church. And this was the understanding that I received in my spirit. Now listen, if these three people entered the whole congregation of holy people that covered their hair listening to the word of God, and the order was unpleasant and could irritate someone to walk out of the church. Now listen, that is how our Lord and Savior feels 
when we come to his presence, we women with our hairs uncovered, he has warned us severally, giving us his word in all dimension that we should cover our hair and look holy because of the presence of the angels. And this should be done always because always you pray, always you desire attention from God. And it is the angel that take up your petition to the name of our Lord and Master and Savior. You don't only tie your hair when you come to the presence of God. When you are sleeping in the night, sometimes you need the Lord to communicate to you in the dream. Your hair is covered and the Spirit of the Lord, you know, comes to you and speaks to you. But when you are sleeping with your hair uncovered, in the spirit realm, you lie down with hair uncovered. If you remember the revelation I shared here, I think last month, about hair scarf, in the physical, I slept with a cap on my hair. In the spiritual, I saw that I wake up with that same dress, I wore blue gown to sleep. And at the same time, I covered the blue hair tie with stripe of white. And in the spirit, that was how I was standing and the Lord was speaking to me that if you had died now, you would not enter the kingdom of God. That you did not cover your hair to sleep. I said, no, I covered a cap. He said, no, hair scarf. Look at the love of our father. No wonder the Bible says in Hebrews 12, verse number 6, that he that the father loveth, he chastiseth. If he does not chastise you, then automatically you are a slave to him. When God rebuke you in things you do, in the dream, and remember he said, I'm going to speak to you in dream, in vision, and in revelation. In Amos chapter 3, verse number 7, this is the word of God. When God rebuke you, he love you. God forbid, I do think and my father does not rebuke me. Automatically, I'm seen as a slave before him. Covering of hair is a serious matter before Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Learn to cover your hair. I'm not saying covering your hair alone, committing sin, you will go to heaven. It's expected that you know the truth. You are born again. You are walking on the narrow path. Or you desire to make it to eternal life. Then you disobey God in covering your hair. It is sinful. If these three ladies entered this church of holiness, and their side for not covering their hair was awful, was stinking, they were smelling, now, tell me, what about the mega churches, like Christ Embassy, like uh, Living Faith, like uh, Salvation Ministry, and the rest of them, all those mega churches, I mention their name, because they are the big churches that people know, they are popular. How will this church smell the Lord? How will it smell Him? Forget about your praying, your receiving anointing, your receiving revelation with your hair uncovered. But I want to tell you the truth. In physical, it seems that all is well. But in the spiritual, you are smelling. Do you hear what I'm saying? You may be a pastor, you run a ministry, you don't cover your hair, you are seeing Jesus appearing to you, you don't bother, oh, the Lord is with me, oh, the Lord is with me, I saw the Lord, he spoke to me. You put cortex, you put long nail, you put artificial lashes, you paint your face, you apply powder, and yet, you don't cover your hair. And you are happy because you are having a relationship with the Lord. Let me tell you, anointing is for the service of God, and not for heaven. The most important thing is, will you enter the kingdom of God? This is what God is required from us. We need to be holy before Him. We need to be righteous before the Lord. Women, I repeat, cover your hair always. Some people ask me, if we are going to the office, should we cover our hair? If your office is such a one they put on uniform, you can't dress with mufti, no problem, you can go, but your hair tie should be by your side. When you are going, your hair tie is on you. When you are in the office, you can pull it out, your hair tie should be with you. When you want to pray, cover it and pray, remove it again. When you are closing from the office, you can literally cover your hair. In your car, you can be praying, you can be praising God. Your hair is still covered. Do you hear what I'm saying? Please, don't leave your hair uncovered. As you continue to obey, may God increase your wisdom. May God increase your knowledge. May God give you the understanding required to run this race 
successfully so that you can make it to internal life. Cover your hair. Teach your children to cover their hair. Teach your church members to cover their hair. Teach your brethren, your siblings that are female to cover their The Lord continue to bless you. In Jesus' name.